Hi, this is JB from Nota Lights over Arkham. This time in deck testing, I decided to try an expert level villain for once. Uh, I haven't been playing expert level for a while because of the Galaxy's Most Wanted was so punishing. It uh, uh, diverted me to just play standard, but I think it is time to try out on an expert difficulty villain. And I am trying out Ebony Mo on expert difficulty. I decided to pick uh, Monica Rambo or Spectrum uh, for the hero and try out an aggression deck. So this might not go well, but at least we will try. It's always fun to try to do your best in these uh, games. So let's look at the uh, Spectrum's uh, deck first and see what the deck is all about. So let's hop over to marvelcdb.com. Okay, and we are over on marvelcdb.com and here is the Spectrum Aggression deck. So my main idea on the deck is to just flip to hero mode as fast as possible uh, and try to aggro down the villain as fast as possible. So we have uh, a lot of cheap allies to uh, function as uh, uh, jump blockers. So we have Bug. So Bug is a um, two cost uh, ally that basically can block, but uh, the way this deck is built uh, I have a special plan for Bug, so we'll talk about that in a moment. Then we have Cosmo, and Cosmo is just there to be a cheap uh, jump blocker. Also Hulk will mostly be jump blocking, or when we are close to advancing or something like that, then Hulk could finish up the game by smashing, but we'll see. Ironheart, another jump blocker, and... Uh, Gets us a card, so a good jump blocker card. Marvel Boy, not the best card, probably, but um, it is a cheap ally that can hit for two, and it's a guardian. And I'm talking about, we have three guardian allies here, and I'm talking about them a bit more in a moment. Then we have Spider Girl, which is always a cheap and effective jump blocker. Then we have a bit of threat removal, so we won't be advancing that much, but uh, these are basically that when... Uh, uh, if we get a nasty side scheme or we really need to get some threat removed from the main scheme, we have you pay for that, which will get us to remove a bit of the threat. Uh, then we have uh, Brown Beat. I actually haven't used this card, but because we are playing on Expert, I decided to give this one a try. And it only can be played in an adventure traded um, identity, so uh, Spectrum is a good candidate for this. So it deals 2 damage, and then it deals X damage, which is the stage number. So we always will deal 4 damage with this, because we are playing on Expert. We start from phase two, and at the end game, we're dealing five damage with this. So I think it's a good card to try out. Uh, then, because uh, Spectrum is the one of those heroes that will be changing forms quite a lot, and changing from between energy forms comes as changing forms. Surprise attack is a really shooing card for Spectrum, and we'll be probably using this a lot. And then uh, I decided to add Audacity, which will just ping off tops and uh, deal damage while we use it as an energy. Or, or a, uh, whatever resource, uh, power of aggressions, because we have a lot of uh, two-costed uh, events and stuff like that, or, and allies that are easy to play with the power of aggression, and of course the other double resources. Uh, Queen Carrier, just to add one one uh, uh, 
and it or, or resource generator into the deck and it's a good one and uh, finally we have the energy sphere so uh, I, I have three guardians and this can only be played on guardian allies and max one per ally and attach ally gets plus two attack and gains piercing so this will make those um, guardian allies hit hard and uh, because bug will heal every time I'm using uh, Spectrum to uh, make a basic attack. So Bug will hit with the Energy Spear, heal, hit with the Energy Spear and etc. So that is basically the deck, so nothing really fancy or spectacular. Uh, the main point of this deck is to rush down the villain as fast as possible. We'll see how that actually works while we get going and uh, we have have to do the setup here, so uh, we still need to uh, do the when revealed effect on Eponimo. So each player discards cards from the top of the encounter deck until they discard a spell card and put into play. So we'll do that. And we hit a uh, pacification. This get shuffle, we'll see. So this flips. And each player discards cards from the top of the encounter deck until a spell anymore is discarded and puts in the play and shuffle the encounter discard file to the encounter deck. So see which other spell we get. Through until we hit the spell. And I'm uh, actually using the suggested modular sets in this playthrough. We were wondering. So we get uh, Rubble Storm as the second one. So those are our uh, beginning uh, spell environments that are in play. I'll, I'll be keeping the spell environments over here. Just a quick shuffle to the encounter deck. And we are ready to go. So. And I'll need to add some uh, invocation counters on these. And we need to find one more. There it is. So, okay. So. We are ready to go, so let's get started. And we'll start by drawing our opening hand of six cards, so let's see what we get. So I'm actually keeping these here because it's easier for me to see when they trigger. Okay, so we get Gamma Blast, Pulsar Shield, to pay for that, Surprise Attack, Genius, to pay for that. So, uh, to keep in a spirit of uh, bursting, we'll definitely keep ga Gamma Blast and we'll keep Genius. Um, I think we'll shuffle these three back. Keep the surprise attack, or or we'll uh, mulligan these three, so we'll get three more cards. Energy, you'll pay for that and photon speed. Okay. Uh, not that useful. Oh well. I think we are saving the energy for next turn maybe but yeah uh, we won't be staying in alter ego anymore so i think i will do it so that uh, let's just check so i actually color coded these um, different uh, forms so gamma 
uh, is attack and red, photon is dwarf and blue, and pulsar is defend and green, so it's easier for me to tell which boost I have in play. So, I think I'm changing into uh, pul uh, pulsar, so I'm in a pulsar form and I have uh, no, no, not Pulsar, but Photon. So I have plus two Thwarts. And I, after you change to this energy form, remove one threat from a scheme. So I will just remove that threat. But then we will play. Uh, uh, I'll use. You'll pay for that to play Surprise Attack when we change into. Uh, the photon form, so we deal 3 damage here. Then, um, oh yeah, we are in spectrum form. Then uh, we will play Gamma Blast. So Gamma Blast says uh, change to Gamma Energy, so we change to Gamma. Now we have plus two attack and deal seven damage to an enemy if you were already in gamma energy form this attack against overkill but we don't need the overkill so let's just change so after you change to this energy form deal one damage to an enemy then we deal seven so like so so we are almost burst through the first uh, phase and then we will also hit for three damage here. So this might be a really fast uh, game, but actually four damage left. So that is our whole first turn. We ready up. We draw back up five energy cha uh, energy spear uh, power of aggression surprise attack. Photon speed and energy. Okay. We'll go to the villain phase. Uh, we add one threat to the main scheme. Eponimo attacks. Uh, two plus. Uh, give the villain a tough status card. Okay. That slows us down a bit. And uh, then. Uh, we take two damage. I won't defend, and these tick down for uh, two, three. So just go through what these do. So pacification: when this uh, force response triggers after the last invocation counter is removed from pacification, discard it. Exhaust each upgrade you control. You are stunned. Uh, so basically stunned, um, and this will deal two damage to each character you control. So. Those are nasty, but uh, then we get an encounter card, and it is uh, landing craft. When defeat the discard card from the top of the encounter deck until a minion is discarded, put the minion play engage with the player who defeated the scheme, and it has two threats on it. And I think we are ignoring this. It only gives one well, acceleration token, but we will try to rush down Ebony Maw as fast as possible. So that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. The next turn starts by us doing something, and that something is probably uh, hmm. well. This this hand sucks. <laughs> not not gonna lie. Just checking if is there any. No, there is no point in going to Alter Ego for now. So... I think we are just gonna remove the tough. Then I will change to... I'll use the energies... No... Let's think about it. So I'm using energy to 
play photon speed, so we train, uh, change our form to photon, which will say that we can remove one threat from here, then remove a lot of threat from another scheme. So we are defeating that, we're getting a minion, but that, that's life. And uh, discard cards until we pull a minion. So we'll check which minion we get. Hopefully nothing too bad. And no guards or anything, but we'll see. Well, the minions are really bottom heavy this, uh, today. So we get the note rider. So it is uh, when we reveal. Well, we just to check was it reveal or. Discard. So discard cards um, put that minion in so we ignore their when revealed effect. So uh, this engages us and that is that. But uh, we change form so now we can play we'll use energy spear to play uh, surprise attack so we deal Three damage, and I'll just defeat this guy over here. No, we'll just ignore that. So we'll deal three damage here. Yeah, and I will keep the power of aggression. We'll ready up. We'll draw back up five. We get bug, uh, gamma blast, energy spear. And we have two power of aggression, so I think we are uh, saving the gamma blast for later and uh, playing the bug with energy spear. We'll go to the villain phase. We add one threat here. Ebonimo attacks. I take it with spectrum. Oh yeah, we are in this mode. So uh, two plus zero. So we take two damage, these tick down. This guy attacks, we take one damage. Uh, encounter card is uh, blood to spare. When revealed, each minion engaged with the player activates against that player. Each player who is not engaged, well, we just take one activation from this guy. And that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Okay, well, uh, this turn I will play Bog. I'll use Power of Aggression and use. I'll use the other power of aggression to play the energy spear on bug. So let's see. So this gains uh, plus two and check and piercing. So bug hits for three damage and uh, spectrum hits for one. Okay, well, I'll hit with bug and I'll defeat the outrider. I'll hit with uh, Spectrum to hit Eponimo for one. Heal Buck for one. We'll advance. So when we reveal each player discards cards from the top of the deck until the discard a spell card and puts that card in play in the play area. So we get Manipulation. Okay. Those are discarded. Manipulation has two invocation counters, and I think this is our cue to head down to Alter Ego for a turn. So we flip, we ready up, and uh, we need to add 23 health to Ebony Moor. I'll do it like so. 23. So 23. Uh, 23 damage to go. And we ready up. We'll draw back up to 6. We get Hulk, Energy Spear, and Energy Duplication. We have the two Gamma Blasts, so I think we are just uh, healing, heading back to. Uh, hero mode and start gamma blasting 
I want to move down. Uh, we'll go to the villain phase. We add uh, one threat here. Ebony Moss gives for three plus two, so five. So we definitely advance. And uh, if this stage is completed, players lose the game. We'll get an encounter card. So, so we remove these counters, of course. Won't forget about that. So, first up, um, we deal two damage to each character. So, unfortunately, that kills a bug. And we take three. Pacification. Uh, we exhaust each upgrade, and it is these, but these don't matter if they are. Oh yeah, these are not active, then I am an alter ego. So we are stunned also. Okay, and did I do the encounter card? No. So the encounter card for this turn is uh, landing craft again. And now we definitely will ignore that, but uh, that is the villain phase. Let's go to the next hero phase. So we will definitely heal for 3 damage. We'll flip to hero mode. We will go to gamma. We deal 1 damage here. Uh, I think we will... Let's see if... Manipulation, uh, discard one card at random, whatever. Uh, we can't play the Gamma Blast this turn, we have to wait for next turn, so we will play. Okay, well, a uh, <laughs> bit of te technical difficulty, so uh, I was about to play Hulk, but my camera turned off for some reason, and I had to uh, revert back. So uh, I played Hulk, I actually hit with Hulk. Before I noticed the camera was off, so we already hit with Hulk. And uh, we were about to discard the card, so uh, we get ener not energy, but physical. So we deal two more damage here, and we'll keep the rest of our hand here, we'll ready up, we'll uh, draw back up to five, uh, iron heart, pulsar, shield, and we have plus two here, okay, we'll go to the villain phase, we add one threat over here, uh, Eponimo attacks, I take it with Hulk, actually Hulk defense, so 2 plus 1 is 3, so Hulk is still alive, and manipulation activates, so uh, 1 card random from our hand, so it is the Pulsar shield. Then uh, uh, we are confused also, and uh, then we get an encounter card. Oh yeah, we forgot to add one from that, and uh, it is a rubble, uh, rubble storm. So it comes into play with three, and it has search and Shadow of the Past, so also the Radioactive Man comes into play, Reactor Meltdown comes into play, and uh, uh, 
Let's see, well, radioactive man doesn't do nothing at this point. But I think we just try to burn down uh, Ebony Maw. And not lose, but we'll see how, it, how that goes. But yeah, uh, that is that turn. Uh, let's go to the next turn. So, uh, this turn uh, we will just get rid of the stun. We'll play Gamma Blast for 7 damage here. We still need to deal 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10 damage. Okay. And uh, I think we have to risk it and go to that. No. Uh, we'll stay in hero mode. We'll ready up. Draw back up to 5. Okay, and uh, we have the speed of light, Marvel Boy, Rombie, Hungarian, Spider Girl. I will go to the villain phase, we add two threats on the main scheme. Ebony more attacks, Hulk will defend. Hulk takes uh, one, two, four damage. Hulk is defeated. We'll tick one out. Here, after a radioactive man activates again, to deal one damage to each character control. So, radioactive man hits us for basically two damage, and that is that. And then uh, the categories take two damage. Okay, that's not that bad because we'll try to burn down one more next turn. So, that is that turn. Let's go to the next turn. Okay, um, I think we start by just hitting for 3 damage. Then I'll I'll play the speed of light. Uh, so change energy forms and draw one card. I'll change to uh, pulsar, why not? So we have plus 2 defense. And after you change to this energy form, heal 1 damage, we will do 1. We'll draw a card, and it is strength. Awesome. So I will play Brown Beat with strength. So we deal two damage to uh, the villain. Deal uh, X additional damage to the villain. Maximum of three, where X is that villain stage number of so five. And I'll use the Marvel Boy and B Carrier face Spider Girl and Spider Girl hit for two damage eating Ebony more so pretty close game there so <laughs> um, yeah well the rush tactic worked uh, but we were basically one turn away from getting defeated so again uh, I really <laughs> don't uh, expect aggression decks to work uh, that well in expert difficulty or at least they are these kinds of rush or die decks uh, which I don't really like, and as you can see, my uh, play area is quite empty, and I really like big play areas. A lot of upgrades, supports, and allies, and stuff like that in play, but it is what it is. So, uh, the deck works, we won. So, hope you guys like this playthrough. Thanks for watching, and until next time.